Today's lesson is on subtraction using the standard algorithm and focusing on missing values, similar to what we did with addition. Here is our learning scale. We'll specifically be focusing on subtraction on both the level three and the level four. Mostly we will be focusing on level three, not multi-step word problems. So your learning goal is I can subtract a multi-digit whole number using the standard algorithm. And we also will be doing a little bit of addition to check. So let's try with some missing numbers. Okay, go ahead and copy down this problem so that you can follow along with me. If you need to pause to do that, please do so. So I have seven minus three. Now I know I cannot take seven from three, so I have to regroup. And the six becomes a five. The three becomes a 13, and seven from 13 is six. So I'm good so far. Next, I see in the tens place right here, I have a missing value. So I have to use some logic in order to figure out what this missing value is. So I'm going to go over to the hundreds place. I know I need to regroup because my five is less than six. So that means I must have subtracted 15 from something to get me six. So I'm going to regroup this three and make the five a 15. Now I have to say to myself, 15 minus something is going to get me six. Or six plus something is equal to 15. I know that six plus nine is equal to 15. So 15 minus nine is equal to six. So I have a nine in my missing value box. Now, if I go to my hundreds place, I see that two minus or three minus two does not equal nine. So I have to regroup here, but I don't know what value I'm regrouping. So I'm going to have to keep that in mind when I go to the next place value. But I do know that when I regroup, my two becomes a 12. So three minus 12 is equal to nine. Let's go to the next place value in the thousands place. I know that something, okay, I'm taking two from something, to get to five, okay? Well, I know that seven minus two is equal to five. But remember, seven has to be the value that's been regrouped. So the actual number that was original has to be eight because I regrouped to make the eight a seven. And then finally, one from four is three. So let's rewrite our problem so that when I move the boxes, we can check to make sure we're correct. So we had 48,363 minus 12,397. And our final answer would have been 35,966. So if I erase, so I have all of my writing out of the way to check, we can see that we are correct because my original problem matches with what I found. Let's try another one. Go ahead and write this down so that you can follow along with me. If I take nine from two, that won't work. So I have to regroup and make this five a four and the two becomes a 12. Nine from 12 is equal to three, so I'm good. Now I'm going to move on. I'm going to look at this four. Four from six won't work because six is greater than four. So I know I have to regroup at some point, which I'm going to regroup at the next place value, and the four becomes a 14. Six from 14 is equal to eight. So that would be my missing value there. Now I know that I'm taking five away from something to get six. So my question is something minus five has to get me six, all right? Well, I know that 11 minus five is equal to six. So up here, I had to have a one because I regrouped that one to get to 11, right? And this was not originally a one. This had to originally be a two because I regrouped 
the 2 to get to 14. So 11 minus 5 is equal to 6 when I regrouped this one here. Now I know I cannot take 1 or 4 from 1, so I have to regroup this 1. The 2 becomes a 1. The 1 becomes an 11. 4 from 11 is equal to 7. And then I have nothing in my 10,000s place, so I know that 1 minus 1 would have gotten me zero, but I don't need any leading zeros, so there was no zero there. Okay, let's rewrite our problem so that we can check. So I have 22,252 minus 14,569. And my final answer would have been 7,683. And let's see if we were correct. And I have the same numbers, so we were correct. All right, let's try another one together, and then you're going to do the next one. So here I have 7 from 9 is equal to 2. Pretty easy, no regrouping. I cannot take 8 from 7, so I have to go next door and regroup. The 7 becomes a 17. This other 7 became a 6, right? And... 8 from 17 is equal to 9, so I'm good. Now I know something from 6 has to be 0. Well, 6 minus 6 is equal to 0. And then I have 7 from 0. I can't take 7 from 0, so I have to regroup. So this number would have been regrouped. We would have gotten some other value. And the 0 becomes a 10. 7 from 10 is equal to 3. Now I know I'm going to have... 1 from something up here is going to be equal to 3. Well, 1 minus 4 is equal to 3, but my original number was not 4 because I regrouped. So my original number has to be 5. So when we rewrite the problem, we have 50,779 minus 17,689. And our final answer would have been 33,092. Let's see if we were correct. And there it is. All right, here's a problem I would like you to try on your own and bring in the answer to class tomorrow. And then before you are finished, think about your learning goal that was at the beginning of this video so that you think about where you are after watching this lesson. Great job, and I will see you tomorrow.